The Grand Palladium Jamaica Resort and Spa is a very large resort that has a total of 540 rooms. All rooms feature thoughtful touches like flat screen TVs with satellite channels, coffee makers, and sofa beds, along with other conveniences such as bathrobes and slippers, which we really enjoyed. The resort has two sides. The first is the Lady Hamilton side, which we found to be closer to the sandy beaches and the water sports. The second side is the Jamaica Resort side, which is newly renovated and boasts redesigned spaces. Both are all-inclusive, and no matter which side you choose, you can access all the amenities from both areas. Our room review will be based on the Jamaica side, since that's where we stayed. They have several room options. The first is the Junior Suite Garden View, which is about 500 square feet that features fabulous views of tropical wildlife, furnished balcony, hydro massage baths, a king size or double beds, and a sofa bed. This appears to be their base model and what a base model it is. For those of you who are wondering when we traveled, we traveled just before March break. And a word to the wise, for those who want to book in this month, book early because we noticed that our price of our tickets skyrocketed in less than a week. The second is a junior suite poolside view. It's about the same size. It offers many of the same features of the garden view, but instead you have a view close to the swimming pool. The third suite is a junior suite ocean views. Again, it offers many of the same features as the garden view, but instead you have a panoramic view of the Caribbean Sea. The next category of rooms they offer are the suites, which has the same type of such as garden and oceanfront. These rooms offer a terrace, cozy lounge area, luxurious marble and wooded finishes, and views of tropical plants and wildlife. The top tier rooms offer a fun feature of either a connecting suite or private pool ocean views. They say, when in Rome, do as. So we decided to splurge and test out the pool oceanside room to show you. Now get ready for our slightly lived in room tour. Enjoy. So finally, we can provide you with a tour of our room. And who is this? Oh, hello. Let's see. Hey. Okay. Nice large mirror. Decent. That way we can always look at our outfits. Next. <laughs> we don't need to look at my outfit. Do you want to say anything about these light switches? The light switches are weird because you think they're British, not American standards or North American. So you think you need to buy another outlet, but you don't because they all work together. But they are weird because like this, you flick it on, it's your hallway light. But Turn but then off. you flick it off and you can't turn on your bathroom lights. A light, a book light here. Yeah, nice. An outlet. And to go to Cody's point, this is what he meant. When we first came in, we saw these plugs. And initially, we... They, they look like they're European plugs. So we can plug into them. We'd have to spend 20 bucks, get a you know, standardized plug and do it. But John tells her you're there. Look, okay. just plug it in. TV size? The TV size, you're looking at about, I think it's probably 50 inch, not bad. Not bad, internet has been good. decent all around. Everywhere you go on the resort, it's been good. The fan's been great too. It doesn't Early. stop, it does not stop. There's not a way to stop it, I don't, we haven't found. From the previous videos, Cody and I tend to go back and forth between the thermostat. I like it warm, he likes it cold. It's very easy to operate. I think this is a, a nice feature. So here is the bar that we have in our room, which for the first day wasn't stocked. We have our drinks, we have our water, but we didn't get this the first night. We did upgrade to our room, but there, when you think of an upgrade, you think it's gonna be there. We didn't have a water to sip on. Like nothing. Mine is the beer. We had no beer. We had nothing. They gave me a Snickers. Now I'm happy, but that is not acceptable. 
you need to fill up with minimum of water. And like Cody said, when we got our upgrade, it was lovely, but they weren't expecting for this unit to be, uh, I guess, housed. So they weren't really prepared. Some several times to let them know that we needed some drinks. And the lady behind the desk, she was really, really sweet. She didn't get the drinks to us until we called two extra times to let them know that we didn't get them. Two extra times. She even said to us, well, if they don't deliver it, I'll come myself and, and make sure it's there. She didn't come. She didn't come. This is the living room. You have a pull-out bed, a couple uh, pillows you can pull it out. Wait a second. This looks like a very large pull-out. I would like say this king. is a king size, another king sized. And then you have a table, you have two chairs. So if you did have children or somebody else who wanted to come, brother, sister, they could easily do it. Yeah. But the best thing about this room is walking out here. You have your own private pool. Okay, look at this. Look how big this space is. We have this love seat. Unfortunately, it's been raining a lot here. However, we are covered, if you can see, like this is the unit above us. It doesn't get that damp, but when we came, there was a lot of torrential rain. So it did get a, a bit wet. Um, it has this bar over here where you can hang your towels or your swimsuits. Much appreciated because without that, we would probably be hanging it on like the chair, the armchair or whatever. Um, but yes, this is the reason for the upgrade. This is what makes the room. But does it? That's the whole thing. People think it does and it's very cold. We haven't actually swam in it once yet. Mind you, it's day two. It's day two, maybe you will, but unless you're here with family, you will probably never use this pool. But do you upgrade. do you want your family to be in this pool with you? Probably not, it's like a hot tub. It's a romantic pool. It's, rom it, it's but romantic. It's cold. Yeah. So it should be a hot tub. However, even though Cody said it is cold, it's true, it's cold. But the lady at the front desk said that the maintenance people have a, a way of to turn it up a, turn bit, a little bit, a, bit. a little bit. Yeah. Look at the view that we have. This is called an ocean view. As we're talking to you right now, it is raining. Look at it. Look at the space. I think this has to be our best unit we've stayed in. Look at his face. Bahamas. Cody, Bahamas did not have this. We're not in it. You're in it right now. For the video. I plan to, you know what? Even though the water is cold for me, I will go in this. I will go in this. This is why I, why we paid extra. It's still very, it's still very private. Like it's, I like it. I'm not against it. I just think I like the ultra really so. I wish we just had a uh, hot tub back here. I would have liked a hot tub. Hot tub would be way better than cool. I would have liked a hot tub here instead of a pool. I think it would, like, yeah, something with the jets. I think that would be really romantic. Like, but who do you see on their pool? But true, okay. We're coming from Canada and we're saying a hot tub, right? But truly, normally it's going to be a hot day. You're probably better off having a cool pool to dip into, right? Not wrong. Oh, I, I get it. I get the reason for the pool instead of the hot tub. Maybe if the pool was jetted, I don't know. Maybe I'm just asking, maybe I'm just asking for too much. It's nice. Until the next time. It was a really nice on. upgrade. Just to recap, our room was a superior junior suite private pool oceanfront. We stayed for five days and really liked the large terrace and the comfortable patio furniture. Very nice touch to have the towel bar. Overall, we found our suite to be very spacious and comfortable. The size of the suite was 775 square feet. 
It came with great amenities such as nice comfortable foam mattress, blackout curtains which we appreciated in the mornings, facilities for tea and coffee, a small mini bar, electronic safe, a walk-in shower, and a hydro massage bathtub that seemed to work a little like a jacuzzi. That ends our room tour. Let us know which one you think is the best. This is a little bit of an ill factor. I'm coming to sit with Cody right now, and look what I found. No, this is not a caterpillar. That is not a Someone's caterpillar. Eyelashes. Someone's not eyelashes. Mine. Not mine. Tell you what. And before you start asking, Cody, did you did you have anyone over? No, I'm too tired. I'm too tired. Uh, I'm not that type of person. Anyhow. All I deal with is technology and apparently travel nowadays. Okay. It's tiring. All right. Peace. Beaches here, definitely not as nice. Um, there's only really one nice beach, and that's down by the sports center, uh, water sports, which is pretty far away depending on where you're staying in the resort. Um, the Lady other, Hamilton side. Yeah. The other beaches are just full of rock, so you're not going to want to go in there. Because Moo Palace is our other top contender for wedding venues, it's only fair to remind you what their premium rooms look like. This is their Superior Honeymoon Deluxe Suite. It is exclusively for two adults, featuring signature amenities that include upgraded brands of liquor, access to exclusive beach area, and more. The Superior two-bedroom presidential suite is very lavish with whirlpool tubs, pr a private balcony, and has an exquisite in-room bar. Just look at this thing. As Cody mentioned, we were a bit disappointed that there wasn't more sandy beaches at Grand Palladium. In comparison, look at one of the main beaches at Moon Palace. This sand is thick. Hardly any rocks to impact us as we walked along the shoreline, just what we were looking for. Over Cody's shoulder, you can see the site of the gazebo, which is one of our wedding venue possibilities. By far, the rooms that we've had here are much nicer than the ones that we've had at Moon Palace. Can we, can we take a look at this? Okay. In saying that, that's an upgrade to get, so it's not like a standard room. You don't just get a pool, and that's only on the, what's the side called? Jamaica. Jamaica side, <laughs> um, which is the newly renovated side. But overall, it's been good. The shower is nice, uh, pretty spacious. Jacuzzi tubs. Jacuzzi tub, didn't use it. Um, I did. It was lovely. Air conditioning was good. Chantel never wanted me to have it on, so I didn't get to test it out. That's a the, lie. The TV was okay. It cut in and out quite a bit, but it was decent. I think the TV, like we got a wide selection of TV shows. Yeah, there was some chipping. I will say this for Moon Palace. They gave us bottles of like lotion that we could take away with us. With this one, everything's affixed to the wall, so you can't take anything. Which is fine. We don't I mean, need to take it. It's nice to give your guests a little sample, especially since they're charging so much money to come here and for the upgraded room, it would have been nice. Um, now we do get robes and we do have um, slippers, which I'm wearing right now, but we can't take this with us. I would just like a little takeaway. 